what's up guys my name is kilani zuko i want to welcome you guys to the student place today and i want to appreciate all of you for engaging on our channel and today i want to talk about the new girl episode 11 that was released on monday and just to you know as usual give my reviews and talk about what i want to see in episode 12 that is coming you know i see a lot of you commenting that you don't need explanation you don't need review i understand you guys i understand that you are so willing to see the next episode i understand but you know this is like just to engage with you guys just to know what you guys think about each episode and just to talk about it so please don't be angry don't be offended at me for doing this i just want to like talk about this series because it is very interesting and i can't keep it to myself so please guys let's just engage and don't forget to subscribe like comment you know good comments actually just comment what you feel about the the series and all that so let's get into this video guys yeah so when the um form teacher came to the class to talk about the pregnancy i you know one particular thing about this scene was tk's expression how tk was you know observing and watching the how the whole thing plays out you know like a normal human feel would be like ah this woman now will come and spoil spoil plant for me this woman will come and this thing she's saying now nah, she'll make this girl start thinking that you know she, she doesn't want to be in a relationship with me or she wouldn't want me to you know be with her and all that so like that expression on tk's face was giving ah let um amanda not, not go and change her mind concerning like you know me because of the pregnancy thing and all that so you know it's actually like not so common but then like it's one common thing with public schools you get to see situations where you know girls getting pregnant or guys impregnating girls and all that so it's it's quite common in africa in african um public schools but then it's very important you know if you're going to have sex abstinence is very important like try to abstain and if you can't abstain try to use cd use condom like you know protect yourself from unwanted pregnancy because when you're pregnant like the form teacher said like it's a whole lot of things like you're you're likely to drop out of school and your life is you know is is shaped shaped and you start following a different trajectory a different direction for your life because now you won't have to think about one person but about two persons and that is not an easy task at all so please if you must use condom including fct and punishment for going against this is life imprisonment hmm. good you both have made a point the less of you hmm? i hope you are running eh? <laughs> this girl now, she will have to drop out and be taking care of baby. Mama, does she have to drop out? Ha! Can she bear the shame and stress that comes with pregnancy and motherhood? She cannot! Then let's not shame her. <laughs> that is what people will say until she starts coming to school with a big pregnancy like mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be laughing. He, 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 he. Be laughing. See, pregnancy is not easy, oh. eh? So if you let the boy touch you, you will get pregnant, and you will hear me. <laughs> the competition is fast approaching the debate competition, and we know that it is um Simi, Amanda, and TK that we are um to go represent the school. But unfortunately, Simi was hoping to hop opt out of the competition because she hasn't paid her school fees. And guess how much is the school fees? Eight thousand five hundred naira. I'm like. It doesn't five hundred. Well, then I I came to the realization that there are some families that can't even afford eight thousand five hundred naira, ten thousand naira. Some family can't afford it. Like things are that difficult for some people. So Amanda saw Simi crying. Then she decided to help. She decided to help her with her school fees, of which she did. And you know that was like a very good gesture from her. Like. Amanda is nice. She has a very soft heart. She's a kind person. And she's so she's this person that stands up for people. She doesn't like seeing people, you know, suffer or go through stuff. She likes to stand up for people and that is very remarkable. Yeah. She told me about the school fees issue. So, are you here to laugh at me, rich girl? No. In fact, I'm actually here to help you. I don't want your help. Don't you just go for the competition anymore? 
Listen, I'm not one of the charity cases. I never said you were. So, why do you want to help me? Well, I think you're good and you deserve to be at that competition. Besides, no one has to know. You know, I actually love the relationship between Amanda and Adad. The father like likes her so much and the relationship between both of them is actually like, very cordial. Though, I don't think Amanda tells him stuff. Amanda does not tell, tell him stuff. But then, like, he cares for her so much and he gives her everything she wants. And their relationship is actually like very chill. Like they are very cool and I love it when she went to him to ask for money to um pay for semi school fees. I just like how the dad was willing to help and how she was able to convince the dad to help. You know, one thing is that the dad wants her to be a better person. That was one of the reasons why he sent her to the school and him seeing her, you know, working in that line was something like um chill for him he was so happy to see that so of course he was willing to help and again he is an alumnus of the school so i mean it's not difficult to pay 8500 for someone as rich as he is so he agreed to pay and that was so chill babe babe oh? you know what just happened i'm all ears amanda just asked that i pay someone's fees at school oh nice you're not surprised? No, she's done something like that before. <laughs> Babe, the surprise is that she is now becoming selfless. The punishment is working. I guess so. You guess? Isn't it obvious? Yes. Now she's dealing with the realities of life. She is. You know what? I think I should start a scholarship in her name. Babe, that's wonderful, but please, not in her name. Mm. All right, let's discuss this later on. Let me go finish up in the kitchen. Okay. Yep. So the guys went for the competition and they won. I'm not surprised they won. I mean, it seemed that consists of Amanda, Simi, though TK, TK also, because TK is actually like very intelligent. I mean, the three of them are like a formidable team, three musketeers, three musketeers. So I'm not like actually surprised that they won. You know, them combining all their effort on their all their intelligence and TK is on that read so much. Amanda also reads and <laughs> I'm not surprised they won. So the guys won. I could see how Simi was, you know, parading the cop as if she was the only one that did the whole job. Whereas it was even Amanda, Amanda that puts in more effort but then it's like a teamwork and Amanda is like a very um chill and humble person so she didn't like show off herself on like see me that was showing off Hey, new girl. Old boy. <laughs> so, you know, guys, I told you people that I'm waiting for when Simi, for when Amanda is going to express her feelings for TK. Because I told you guys that it seems Amanda is beginning to like TK. And yeah, she's beginning to like him because their closeness is beginning to get so close. So, I've been waiting for this moment. You know, when the they they deceived us with that fake kiss i was saying that i am waiting for when amanda and tk are going to finally kiss but then they were almost gonna kiss <laughs> but amanda came to like self-consciousness and she refuted the whole thing and ran away ah i was actually expecting them to kiss though i mean it would have been chill and um so that was like a whole turning point for both of them like the fact that she 
knows that she's beginning to like tk and tk is expressing feelings for her also so it's like a big thing it's overwhelming so i won't like blame her but then what does the future holds for hold for tk and amanda are they going to work things out i remember amanda is leaving the school soon she's going back to her but then why does she have to go back Ugh. she's going back to her former school and what will now become of tk what will become of tk's feelings for her and what will become of her feeling for tk i mean they have each other's contacts they can call each other they can still meet meet up tk can still go to a house because i mean they're friends but then does amanda want this is she willing to take this make this happen <sighs> it's really difficult to see but i just wish that both of them can work things out because i like them together i like their relationship i wish they can actually like be together for a for a but then let's keep watching in episode 12 let's see what episode 12 has for us with tk and amanda so they said the best kind of friendship starts from you know the worst place simi and amanda owing to what amanda did for simi by paying her school fees simi was grateful and she decided to become friends with you know amanda and well i'm not surprised that um they are friends they become friends because it was bound to happen i mean it was bound to happen so simi and amanda became friends but amanda's but smith's friends were not like taking it they're like ah, ah, except um Jada girl though so like they're like what is this like but then i mean it was going to happen so let's see how much this friendship is going to last if simi is actually like genuine about the friendship or if she's trying to like go with the maxim bring your enemies closer i don't know but let's keep watching to see sure <laughs> so i just have a hug <laughs> thank you all right take care it's about time. Why are you smiling? I'm um, okay, I have. What is wrong with that boy? Didn't he see me? That's because he has something with that thing you were just hugging. Shut up, Amara. Oh. I should shut up. See me, why you they hug her? It's none of your business. Really? Since when did it become none of our business? Since I said so. Oh, really? Okay. But I guess you guys are becoming friends, right? Yes, of course, you're becoming friends. But not if you want TK. She has eyes for your boyfriend. See me, can't you see it? Do you want TK or not? If you want TK, we have to do something about it. You can't be friends with her. So when Amanda realized that she was on the news, she was so not happy about it. I was surprised that she wasn't happy. I mean, like that was like a very good thing but then when she now said she was going back to her old school i was sad that actually made me so sad because i wasn't expecting her to go back i want her to remain in that prince college ah because of tk actually and because of all the drama and interesting things happening there i want her to remain there i just pray that after i was going to say no you're going to finish in that school because ah why would they want to take her away from there again ah <sighs> I was so sad when she said she was going to leave the school and the fact that she even said ugly uniform and I thought she was already liking the school and all that but then what do you guys think are you guys chill with the fact that Amanda is going to leave the school and go back to her former school or do you guys want Amanda to remain in Prince College what do you think right on the comment section let me know let me know your thoughts but left for me I want her to remain in that school because ah What's gonna happen to TK? Oh, God, because the whole drama, the whole interesting thing comes from that school. So what's gonna happen if she goes back to her former school? Anyway, let's wait for episode five, episode twelve to see what is going to happen. If she's actually going to go back or if she's going to remain in Prince College. My classmates and all my friends would have seen it. You should be proud of that. Dad, they saw me in this ugly uniform and in that public school. I'll be made a ridicule and they will make me a social pariah. Hey, baby. This is nothing to be ashamed of. What you did was remarkable and worthy of emulation. And nobody is going to ridicule my child, all right? You are special. You should always remember that. Yes. Anyone who ridicules you for experiencing and conquering a world different from yours is not a good friend. In fact, 
you should challenge them to try and see if they survive. Yeah. You're right. I think this is like a social experiment. And a punishment. Come on, Dad. I'm just trying to remind you. You know, I could actually write a thesis statement about this. That's the spirit. So, Amanda started avoiding TK after the whole kiss incident. You know, um, I don't know. Well, I feel she was overwhelmed. She's overwhelmed be because of she actually likes um, TK so much and TK likes her. So, maybe she's new to stuff like that and she doesn't know how to like best express that feeling. So, she feels that running away or avoiding him or keeping her distance was the best thing to do. What do you guys think, as a girl, if you're in Amanda's shoes, what would you have done? Would you run away? Would you be avoiding the guy? And um, if you're a guy in TK's shoe, what would you have done in this kind of situation? I like you, Amanda. TK. No, no, let me finish. I have liked you from the moment that I, I saw you and I wanted to be friends with you. And so I did everything that I could. And here we are. And now I want to be more than friends and I know that TK it... I like you too for, for, for a second I felt like I couldn't breathe TK we can't be anything more than just friends what why TK I have just one week left in this call and I have no idea if I'll ever see you again. Uh, no, no, but I, I, I could visit. We could, we could call. We could chat. We could no, email. No, it's not realistic. But, TK. but it is. Simi likes you. I don't like Simi. I like you. I want you. I'm sorry, TK. So Simi walked up to Amanda and told Amanda, Pump and Claire, that she likes TK and she wanted to know if amanda likes ck also but at this point amanda is like confused on what she wants and she's just, she's too selfless i don't like that and she wants others to be happy not her own happiness i mean you clearly likes this guy we clearly like this guy so why are you not you know fighting for it i don't know what she wants but then simi and tk is not just the best combination i don't even see that happening and tk doesn't even like simi at all so i don't even know how this is going to play out how episode 12 is going to be like because amanda told simi already that she does not like tk and now simi sees that as a go ahead for her to pursue tk no tk and i there's nothing going on we're just friends just friends <sighs> okay <laughs> Thank you. Alright, I'll see you later. Okay, bye.